West Papua, a remote region in the far eastern reaches of Indonesia, awakens this Thursday with yet another demonstration of nature's unpredictable force. Located on the western half of the world's third largest island, this Indonesian province sits strategically positioned in one of this planet's most geologically active zones. It is here, where the Pacific Ocean meets massive tectonic plates in constant motion, that terrestrial forces reveal their full intensity without warning. The geological history of this region tells a narrative spanning millions of years of collisions between continental and oceanic plates. West Papua sits in a unique position where multiple tectonic plates converge. The Pacific Plate, the Indo-Australian Plate, and the Philippine Plate meet in a geological dance that has shaped mountains, valleys, and created one of the world's most dramatically beautiful landscapes. This convergence, however, comes at a price in the form of constant tremors that remind local inhabitants they live atop one of the most sensitive points on Earth's crust. In the early morning hours of September 18th, at 3.19 a.m. local time, Germany's Research Center for Geosciences recorded a magnitude 6.3 earthquake on the Richter scale. The epicenter was located at just 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles depth, classifying it as a shallow seismic event, which significantly amplifies its effects on the surface. The proximity to the surface means seismic waves have less distance to dissipate, reaching local communities with greater intensity. This tremor occurred in a region where approximately 43,000 people live in the nearest city, Nabere, located just 28 kilometers, 17 miles from the epicenter. The United States Geological Survey estimates that around 10,000 people felt very strong shaking, while another 116,000 experienced what was considered strong tremors. But what makes this event particularly concerning are not just the numbers, but rather its location in one of the world's most unpredictable seismic zones. To understand the true magnitude of this seismic event, we must delve into the complex geology governing West Papua and the entire Indonesian region. This area forms part of the notorious Pacific Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped zone extending approximately 25,000 miles, 40,000 kilometers, around the Pacific Ocean's edges. This geological belt is responsible for 90% of all global earthquakes and 75% of all active volcanoes on the planet. Indonesia, as an archipelagic nation, finds itself in a geologically unique and dangerous position. The country is literally squeezed between two of Earth's most active seismic zones, the Pacific Ring of Fire to the northeast and the Alpine Belt to the south and west. This dual exposure means Indonesia experiences some of the most powerful earthquakes and devastating volcanic eruptions known on Earth. In 2009 alone, the country recorded 10 earthquakes exceeding magnitude 6.0. Thursday's earthquake occurred precisely when tectonic plates collide in a region where the Indo-Australian plate plunges beneath other rock formations. This process, known as subduction, generates constant tension that eventually releases in the form of earthquakes. The fact that it occurred at just 10 kilometers depth classifies it as a particularly significant event, since shallow earthquakes tend to cause more damage than those originating at greater depths. Local authorities report as of now, no casualties or significant structural damage. However, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center remains vigilant, since earthquakes of this magnitude in shallow waters can potentially generate destructive waves. West Papua's population, historically resilient to seismic events, remains on alert while experts monitor possible aftershocks. But there is something even more unsettling about this seismic event that goes beyond official numbers. The growing frequency of seismic activity in the region raises important questions about emerging geological patterns that may indicate deeper changes in underground tectonic structures. Seismic activity in West Papua is not an isolated event, but part of a broader pattern reflecting the dynamic and unpredictable nature of the region. Data from the United States Geological Survey shows that Indonesia recorded more than 150 earthquakes, with magnitude exceeding seven between 1901 and 2019. Each of these events tells a story about the monumental forces operating beneath our feet, forces that shape continents and redefine oceanic boundaries across geological timescales. What makes West Papua particularly fascinating from a geological perspective is its position at the intersection of multiple tectonic plate systems. Here, the Pacific Plate, one of the planet's largest tectonic structures, encounters resistance from smaller but equally active plates. 
This convergence creates not only earthquakes, but also volcanic chains, deep oceanic trenches, and mountain elevations that characterize the region's dramatic topography. Seismology experts observe with particular interest the patterns of seismic activity in West Papua because this region serves as an indicator of accumulated tensions in much larger fault systems. When a magnitude 6.3 earthquake occurs here, it may represent local stress relief, but it can also indicate force rearrangements affecting much more extensive areas. The phenomenon known as stress transfer means one earthquake can increase the probability of seismic events in geologically connected faults. The 10 kilometer depth recorded in this event is particularly significant. Shallow earthquakes, those occurring less than 70 kilometers, 43 miles deep, tend to produce more intense surface shaking due to the shorter distance seismic waves need to travel. This explains why communities relatively distant from the epicenter still experience perceptible tremors, with estimates indicating more than 800,000 people felt at least light shaking. Local authorities' response demonstrates how decades of experience with seismic events have transformed West Papua into a region relatively well prepared for geological emergencies. Continuous monitoring systems, well-established evacuation protocols, and a population educated about seismic risks contribute to minimizing the impact of events like this. But will this preparation be sufficient for what the region's geology may hold in store for the future? The magnitude 6.3 earthquake that shook West Papua represents much more than an isolated seismic event. It is a window for understanding the titanic forces that shape our planet and define the geological future of one of Earth's most dynamically active regions. When we analyze this tremor in the broader context of global tectonic activity, we realize we are witnessing chapters of a geological story that has unfolded for millions of years and will continue for millions more. The absence of casualties and significant structural damage in this specific event should not mask the broader reality that West Papua and all of Indonesia live in constant dance with geological forces that can, at any moment, manifest with devastating intensity. The region's recent history includes seismic events that resulted in hundreds of thousands of casualties, reminding us that preparation and respect for natural forces are not luxuries, but absolute necessities for communities choosing to live in geologically active zones. This earthquake also offers us a unique opportunity for reflection on our relationship with the planet we inhabit. In West Papua, where indigenous communities have maintained deep connections with the land for thousands of years, there exists an intuitive understanding that we are not owners but temporary inhabitants of a world in constant transformation. This ancestral wisdom, combined with modern seismic monitoring technology, creates a model of coexistence that other geologically active regions can learn from. Today's recorded seismic activity also highlights the critical importance of international scientific cooperation in monitoring and understanding geological events. The fact that research centers in Germany, the United States, and Indonesia collaborate in tracking and analyzing this earthquake demonstrates how science transcends boundaries when it comes to understanding phenomena affecting all the humanity. This cooperation not only saves lives through early warning systems, but also expands our fundamental understanding of how our planet functions. West Papua will continue being a natural laboratory for understanding tectonic dynamics, a place where forces shaping continents manifest in visible and measurable ways. For those living in this extraordinary region, each new day brings awareness that they inhabit one of the world's most geologically active places. A reality demanding respect, preparation, and deep understanding that ultimately we are all passengers on a geological journey that began long before our existence and will continue long after we depart. If you were intrigued by this journey through the forces shaping our planet, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos about the geological mysteries defining our Earth.